Hello, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to the very first HTAP Summit. What is HTAP? What does it mean? What's the relationship between HTAP and OLAP? What's the relationship between OLTP and HTAP? What's the best user scenario for HTAP? This is a real example, KN3, a Web3 user-centric solution. Amazing? So simple, right? A single database to handle everything. So you might wondering, a single database to handle both transactional workload and analytical workload, is it possible? That's why we need a HTAP database to handle all these challenges, to hold all this data, to provide a real-time online data service. We invented so many great technologies, so many amazing products, but still, i just show you a few examples. If we are trying to build those kind of services, those kind of services in a week, it's so complicated. But does it to be you know, this complex for all of our use cases? What if we have a single database, can handle both transactional workloads and analytical workloads with scale? Just imagine that, suppose, what HTAP database to do. That's why we are here. Therefore, distributed database is the only way out. So the cornerstone of HTAP is scalability. From Gartner, from Forest, but the trend is quite clear. HTAP database as, a important, as an important category is getting more and more attention from users, from analysts, from vendors. So I believe in the next three to five years, all of the distributed databases will be HTAP databases. We bring HTAP serverless forward to beta release today. So you can try it right here, right now, 